Hi guys, Brown here and welcome back to my F1 2019 crew mode here today for the Belgian Grand Prix. If you missed the last episode at the Hungarian Grand Prix, make sure to check that out before you see this one. I'll leave a link in the description below. But it's been a long summer break. I feel refreshed and ready to go back again. Anyway, into qualifying for Belgium. And I've got to be honest, I didn't have much hope after the way the last episodes had been going but into our first run in Q1 and we went P9 but I knew I could improve as going into our second run of Q1 into the bus stop we're up in both sectors up to the line we go and we go P2 one of the best laps I think I've ever done of this track is very good into Q2 and my first run I tried to get through on the mediums and that just went to pot I didn't have any pace I made mistakes and we went P15 so we go into the bus stop and we're up by a second into the final corner we cross the line and we go P8 and it's come to be through into Q3 those out of Q2 are Hulkenberg, Kabitza, Alban, Grosjean and George Russell in the Williams that is actually 5th quickest into Q3 and our first run into the bus stop we go a little wide on the exit up to the line and it's going to be once we get there P9 our final run of, Q, of qualifying into La Source we break a little early it's better than going wide down the hill on to the end of the lap you can see on the end of the lap into the bus stop we got a little bit wide we're 1.2 seconds up on our first run of Q3 a little wide on the exit we head up to the line that's a bit disappointing but we just need to push hard in the race and we can still come away with something Jeff how is it disappointing it's P3 on the grid what are you chatting amazing performance out there I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. How will not making Q3 affect your strategy tomorrow? How will not making Q3 affect your strategy tomorrow? How will not making Q3 affect your strategy tomorrow? Actually done. What is the point anymore? Claire, I qualified third. That's in Q3. It's like I'm living in a parallel universe where the aim is to qualify badly. I don't know. I think it's time to go Claire in the words of AFTV anyway let's get into this race I'll try to commentate on it once I've realized what I just witnessed Jordan, of course would then go on to better that here in 1998 with their first ever victory and you can guarantee that something special will always happen at Spa Francorchamps but what that something is today is anybody's guess Spa Francorchamps then, a historic 19 corner circuit with a lap distance of 4.35 miles. There's over 100 meters of elevation change here and with long stretches of the lap spent flat out, good top speed will be vital for success. And it's an absolute pleasure to be joined once again by Anthony Davidson. Let's talk about Brown. What do you make of their performance so far this season? It's been a really solid year so far. There have been some incredible standout performances, but what's really impressed me has been the consistency. With this kind of form, I'm expecting another great race today. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position, and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Brown, Vettel, Pierre Gasly, and Giovinazzi, Bottas, Ricardo, Hamilton, they've taken a grid penalty, and Sergio Perez, Holkenberg, Kubica, Alexander Albon, and Grosjean. Russell, Weber, Lance Stroll, and Devon Butler, Magnussen, and Lando Norris starts from the back of the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. So the strategy for the race is to drive as slowly as possible. Wait, what? I mean, a one-stop race from the soft onto the mediums. 
I'm going to put some extra fuel in the car so we can push a little bit more but let's get into it then it's the Ferrari 1 2 as the lights come on and it's lights out and away we go both Ferraris get away well Verstappen pulls over to cover off Leclerc and we're going to go down the inside of the Ferrari of Leclerc we break a little bit early but we still get the job done on Charles Leclerc in the background Sebastian Vettel into P4 that's a good start from here but Verstappen is bolted at the start we're going to try and slip stream Verstappen but, but we're going to be left defending the old Ferrari of Charles Leclerc down the camera straight there he is he's closing he's closing he's closing and now we've got absolutely horrendous camera angle into that chicane and we get the job done we got a little bit wide actually but it is Verstappen who leads we're P2 Leclerc P3 Vettel P4 Pig Gasly's P5 and P6 is Antonio Giovinazzi in the Mercedes as we come through that tight left hander and towards Puan and through Blanchimon here comes Charles Leclerc he wants his P2 back but he isn't going to get it there as we go off the track and go wide at the bus stop we've actually gained time by doing that so here's an onboard shot of what happened you can see I just pinched that inside front brake that metre too late and cost us and Verstappen is still ahead of us now and we've actually built a little bit of a gap to Charles Leclerc but that's not going to matter because he's going to catch us up again and here he is through Puan through Puan, Blanchimon sorry and he gets past us there does Charles Leclerc so it's a Ferrari 1-2 again I'm not having that though we're going to go all the way around the outside and now Sebastian Vettel's followed me through and got past Charles Leclerc as well and now Pig Gasly is eyeing up a move as Vettel is now eyeing up a move on us down the inside into La Source and he gets the job done we're going to have to now slipstream him down to straight and through a rouge and we're actually ahead of him on the exit we did get the exit he's going to think about it though into a rouge I pinch him into the apex make you think better of that because because we don't want to be crashing a reach we've seen drivers doing it in the past of course we had the awful accident with Anton Hubert this year as well but it's free wide round the outside we go we defend Vettel still side by side with Charles Leclerc and he's going to stay ahead of Charles Leclerc and now here comes Pig Gasly on Charles Leclerc trying to go to the outside of him couldn't do that as we skip on into turn one we've pinched the inside front again we've gone off the track and wide at La Source but we've got a big enough gap I think to stay ahead as here comes Charles Leclerc on Sebastian Vettel we're starting to break away from the pack now and here comes Leclerc on his former teammate down the inside into that corner I know it has a name I can't Lecum I think it's called but it gets the job done does Charles Leclerc and now here comes Big Gasly he's going to try and go to the outside of Sebastian Vettel couldn't quite do that he's just going to have to wait and be patient is Big Gasly the race winner from Hungary if you remember back to that and here comes Sebastian Vettel back at Charles Leclerc into Lacombe and re-overtakes the Ferrari Charles is still there though on the inside he has to defend though and he couldn't quite keep ahead as he was on the outside and Gasly constantly having a look to the outside of that long corner I think it's called No Name Corner something like that as here comes Pierre Gasly is on the back of his former Frenchman of course and they are good friends I think Pierre Gasly and Charles Leclerc but they aren't going to be after this as down the inside goes Pierre Gasly on Charles Leclerc Leclerc's still there though on the outside but he won't be for much longer as Pierre Gasly moves up into P4 of this race through no name corner and through the tight left hander and now Pierre Gasly can set his sights on Vettel but Vettel's got his sights firmly set on us as he's right on the back of us now where's he gonna go he's gonna go to the outside no he's not yes he is gonna go to the outside and you have to wake up pretty early if you think you're gonna go around my outside and he does Vettel I squeeze him out and through goes Pierre Gasly we've gone off the track as well and now Pierre Gasly's having a look at us too 
the outside the defend and wow what happened there they're all kicking off I told you you have to wake up early to get to go around my outside and get past me and Vettel he didn't wake up that early it seems as we just squeezed him into the corner here comes Pierre Gasly now past us and to be honest at the time I was really struggling for pace with these soft tyres so I didn't want to fight him too hard but we're still going to go side by side round the outside goes Gasly I know I just said that we have to he has to wake up early to get me round the outside but we have to avoid hitting the back of Gasly and now Sebastian Vettel goes to our inside and now tries to go around the outside what did I say a couple of minutes ago it's happened again hasn't it Vettel we squeeze him out and now as long as we can stay with Gasly I think it will be alright in this race um, I didn't think it was worth fighting Gasly too much he has quality got some pace we were struggling with the softs and I thought if he can go and get Verstappen then we might as well just let him as back pass as comes Vettel to the inside this time we're going to have to defend all the way around the outside now to the inside and now back to the outside again and we're still side by side with Vettel Giovinazzi trying to get involved and we're still on the outside of Sebastian Vettel this is great racing into no name corner that tight left hander we're going to squeeze out Vettel again there and now Giovinazzi is going in to seize his chance down the inside and he gets the job done on Sebastian Vettel just the Italian of course this is home Grand Prix in the next episode he'll be looking to get a good result there but Sebastian Vettel has just been absolutely shafted this is another look at the move down the inside lovely move by Giovinazzi in the Mercedes and now he's going to be having a look at us as we skip on to the end of the lap and into the pits comes Giovinazzi and so does Sebastian Vettel and so does there Pierre Gasly so he's going to come in they're going to, going to all put on the medium compound tyre Pierre Gasly coming out Vettel still trundling down the pit lane Giovinazzi has actually completed his stop now onto the mediums and it's going to be tight but Giovinazzi does beat out Vettel again there and they're actually going to be beaten out by Charles Leclerc who pitted the lap before this the whole battle between Vettel Gasly Vettel Giovinazzi and us as well and here comes Charles Leclerc trying to get past Nico Hulkenberg and he just flies past in there that McLaren not really anywhere near the Ferrari and Giovinazzi actually has gone for it as well and done the move around the outside on Hulkenberg. So skipping on one lap now and into the pits we come to make our one and only stop onto the medium compound tyre. Quick stop in and out and nothing happened and we have to make sure we beat out Charles Leclerc and those behind us we were battling earlier on in the Grand Prix. out of the pits become there comes Charles Leclerc he's got us here and now Giovinazzi is going to be right on us as we head down through a rouge we go through a rouge now Giovinazzi is going to be all over the back of us we have to defend this we need to get after Charles Leclerc as quickly as we can as here he comes Giovinazzi to the outside of us and there goes Sebastian Vettel on the inside of us as well into Lacon and Sebastian Vettel's round and no oh no the Alphas come together here in Belgium Valtteri Bottas has driven into his spinning teammate Vettel should have backed out of that there was not a gap there and there's Bottas straight into the straight into him that's horrendous here is on the back of Giovinazzi and this is where it's like to bot us round the corner side by side for Hamilton and there's his teammate and here, this was like for Hamilton one minute the alpha's there and then he's not this is what it looked like and there he is straight into the path of his teammate the two alphas for the first time this season come together Bottas and Vettel it's a very strong lineup for Alpha they've been fighting throughout the season remember, remember France where they threw away that win and we want them to win that race and now they both have front wing damage and I think 
if I was to run with a little bit higher on the damage side, they could have they could well be both out of the race because this is only on full damage, so or reduced. I think it is actually. I need to up it to full. Vettel actually coming into the pits and getting a five second time penalty, which I I'm gonna guess it's for the um, contact and the spin. As round the outside we go on Charles Leclerc, that's a mega move on the Monegas. The, the rivalry is still there, of course. We came together with Leclerc in Hungary, if you remember, back to that race. And we've just absolutely blitzed him round the outside like he's not even there. That's what it looked like from Charles Leclerc's point of view. As out of the race goes Valtteri Bottas, he stayed out and didn't pit to change his front wing after the contact with Sebastian Vettel but he retires here just a handful of laps before the end of the Grand Prix but Valtteri Bottas is out of the race and here comes Charles Leclerc he's trying to get back at us now into Lake On we defend the Monegast and we just need to pull away from him now as round the final corner here comes Charles Leclerc we've gone wide Charles Leclerc trying to go to our outside, trying to go around the outside, he's going to go for it. We defend to the inside, squeeze him out. He has to break harder because we're coming across onto the rating line and now he's going to have to sit there and wait. As into the final corner comes Max Verstappen, it's been a dominant race for him and he wins in Belgium. His home ground pretty, pretty much and for the second weekend in a row. Here Gasly comes around the final corner to finish P2, it's not the win of Hungary, but into the final corner, into the bus stop chicane we come, we pulled a small gap over Leclerc, and we are going to take P3. Yes, that's a podium, excellent drive, the team have worked especially hard this weekend, and this is a fantastic reward. So, another excellent win from Ferrari. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well, I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out on the track was today, speed. I know it sounds like an obvious thing to say, Crofty, but fast cars win races, and we saw that today with our winner. Looking at the podium, you can see that red suit familiar to fans across the globe. A world-class win for a world-class team. Ferrari do it again. Jeff says it's good to finish on the podium when we qualified on the podium, so a bit odd there from Jeff. But that anyway, that has been your Belgium Grand Prix. It's a win for Max Verstappen, who increases his advantage on us and closes it to us as well. We gain three points on Charles Leclerc in the constructors. We're still falling behind Ferrari. I've, I was actually looking through this in more detail and George Russell has 40 odd points for Williams. If you look on the R&D, they're actually the fifth fastest car. So I'm kind of, at the minute I'm kind of keeping an eye on Williams for possible in the future. Maybe once if, if we leave Red Bull to maybe go to Williams or somewhere else. We're going to do an upgrade on the Aero for... Italy, we, we if you remember back to Germany, I think we did a as upgrade that was an ultimate, so that take that took three weeks to come in, and that should hopefully come in for the Italian Grand Prix in the next episode. But that is pretty much it for this episode here in Belgium. I hope you enjoyed a slightly longer video than I anticipated. But there was so much action to fit in into this race. It was so hard to kind of keep it short. I know I've been trying to keep these videos under the 20 minute mark and kind of mid-teens, around the 15 minute mark. I've been aiming for these videos, but 
let me know what you thought let me know what you thought of Bottas and let me know what you think of Claire should she be sacked I might do a poll with um, at the end of this video you can click in one of the card system I might do that um, let me know what you think of Vettel and the two alphas do you think Vettel should have backed out do you think I should have given him more space but until the next episode in Italy of course if you remember back to last season at Italy we got our first podium can we do it again we'll see goodbye